guys, it's Katie, and today I'm going to be doing a get to know me tag. I did one about a year ago, but I wanted to do a new update one because some things obviously have changed. So I just thought this would be a good idea. I have the questions down right here, and some questions are a little bit more basic, and then others are a little bit more personal. So let's get started with the video. If you guys enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to see more videos from me. So let's get started. Okay, so the first question is, what is your favorite drink? My favorite drink, I don't really have a favorite drink, but, like, I get, I don't even know, honestly, because I love a lot of drinks, because I like coffee and, like, juices, so I don't really have a favorite one, but I guess, like, in each subject, like, for coffee, I like caramelized coffees, for, like, juices, like, orange juice, and then, like, yeah, that's and water. So, like, that's it. Who has left the most impact in your life? My parents definitely have left the most impact in my life because, obviously, like, I'm with them all the time. And, like, how they act rubs off on me. So, like, I learn from them. They just teach me a lot of lessons, which obviously impacts in my life and how I act towards others and, like, m and, like just me, myself. So, they definitely have left the most impact. And I guess you can also say, like, my best friends because, like, I'm just with them all the time, obviously during school, and like, they just like make, and they just make my life better in general too. What is at the top of your bucket list? So at the top of my bucket list is honestly just traveling a lot, live a happy life, and like when I'm older, like being able to actually succeed in life, and like get a job, and I like have a family, so I guess that's what is like at the top. So those are, that's like at the top of my bucket list, and also like just my dreams in general. If you could choose only one, Paris or London. So I've already been to Paris and it was really beautiful like I would honestly love going there again because I went in the winter so I want to see how it is in the summer there but since I've already been there I would honestly choose London to see something different because I want to travel around the world everywhere so I guess London. The perfect job or the perfect relationship? This one's hard because the like if you have a perfect job like that means like you're getting paid well and everything and you actually like your job so you're able to succeed in life and like just like and like you could use that money for like a lot of things you want but at the same time you're not having a perfect relationship which isn't good because that's just gonna like make your life in general like your emotions not good and that could like ruin your mental state so i guess a perfect relationship because like having somewhere someone there by your side and like actually like like having someone there by your side and actually like being there for you i guess and like just having a good connection with someone else is really good and something like you need in life like I'm not saying like you can't just be like single but like also like having someone there for you and like having a good connection with them is something really good do you believe in karma I do believe in karma because I believe that if you're not respecting others and you're doing bad things to other people you're gonna get that same negative energy back. Like, I live by the quote, treat people by the way you wanna be treated, because if you're treating someone in a bad way, you're gonna get that same respect back. So you always wanna be kind to others so they can be kind to you. What's your favorite candle scent? I don't really have a favorite candle scent, but I guess like vanilla. How many Insta followers and pictures do I have? I don't know exactly. I think I have around 1,200 followers. And then pictures, I have around 40. Quarter that you look for in a partner. The quarter you look for in a partner, I guess just like kindness, their personality, and like just how they are around everyone, and like being there for you. Proudest moment in high school. So obviously I just started high school last year, so now I'm going into sophomore year when school starts again. But honestly, I don't really have the proudest moment yet, but I guess like the best, it's really sad, but the proudest moment I had so far was when I actually got a good grade, like passed a grade in my intro class because intro to business I sucked at like I hated that class so much I was so bad at it I like failed every test but I did so good in like the actual classwork kind of and I finally got a good grade on the test so like that was like the proudest moment I had I was like oh my god I'm actually doing good in this class now so I guess that's the proudest moment in high school so far short guy or tall guy I guess tall guys because like short guys are like I'm already short myself so why would I want like a guy the same height as me do you believe in love at first sight? I honestly don't believe in love at first sight because in order to love someone, like, you actually have to get to know them well. Like, you can't just love someone by, like, seeing them because that's just, like, saying, like, you like them by their looks. What is the last compliment you got? 
honestly i don't remember i don't know what the last compliment i got is what is the scariest movie you watch so i watch a lot of scary movies that is my favorite type of movies that's all you see me watching basically but i honestly don't find them scary the last horror movie i watched was i don't know i watched so many i don't know if you guys like it's counted as a horror movie but i don't count it as a horror movie because it's a horror thriller movie but get out was the last one i watched a live-in massage therapist or a live-in chef honestly a live-in massage therapist because like if i just need to de-stress like i could just go to them and like it'll just be so much better and like a live-in chef i don't really need that because i like cooking myself like i just really love cooking so i like making my own meals and like i like creating them myself so live-in chef like i honestly will get so annoyed if i have that a dream vacation a dream vacation is like bora bora i guess because like the water's so pretty or like honestly any type of beach vacation that i have in like the tropical areas the caribbean where it's like so nice always summer there palm trees like the beach nice food i love that type of stuff my favorite color so i have many favorite colors but like my top three is like the mint blue like the really like blue blue like the bermuda blue like you know if you guys seen like the Bermuda beaches, like that type of blue. I love that blue. I also really like light pink. Like my wall, not that color, but like a little lighter than that. Like pastel pink. And then like a light yellow. I don't like mustard yellow, I hate that. But like the really pretty yellows you see that are like aesthetically, those. My career. So from my career, I just said I want to like be able to travel a lot. But I also want to be an interior designer. Like for when I go out to college, that's what I want to study, interior design. And I also want to do photography and like continue with YouTube. What sports do you play? So as you can see on my wall, I used to do gymnastics. I had to stop because of like injuries I had. So I don't do any sports at the moment. But I want to go back to cheer because I also did cheer during my like middle school years. So I want to go back to cheer for high school. And then I also want to start doing like lacrosse or field hockey. My role models, so my role models are my parents because like I said, like they're with me all the time. Like they've seen me grow up through everything obviously. They work so hard and have achieved so much. So I want to be just like them and like succeed just like them too. So these are all the questions I have on here. I know this was a short video and it was probably kind of boring. But I have another video coming out. It's of me vlogging in Miami. So that one's going to be really fun and like actually entertaining. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to see more videos from me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.